Uh, whenever in my college days I used to describe my own picture, then people will say, "Acha nange pahadi to hai." Ladakh is very, very beautiful, and if you see through my eyes, where I captured a telephoto picture of uh, the comet Neowais over the observatory, both this, uh, uh, both this uh, uh, pictures they had very good impact uh, uh, because they are they were of two different class. One showing the telephoto or the length of the Comet over the observatory, and the second at my own home uh, with the monastery in place. So basically, uh, people don't realize that after the sun goes down, there is another kind of uh, pollution that we have to preserve. This is the light pollution. For 23 years now, Dorji Angchuk, an engineer at the Indian Astronomical Observatory, Hanle, in the Ladakh region, has involved himself extensively in the starry night skies and the stretch of the cosmic beauty. Ever since humans have existed, they have looked up with curiosity in their hearts, wondering just how far and wide this whole universe stretches. But there are astrophiles like Mr. Angchuk who have turned to astrophotography to capture mesmerizing images of night skies, shining stars, celestial objects, rare space events, and more. With the curiosity about how he started his journey toward capturing space phenomena, the PBNS team reached out to one of India's most famous astrophotographer, Dorji Angchuk, to know about this out of the world art. My uh, astrophotography journey started with uh, getting admired by. Ajit Alwar's photography and in fact uh, uh, it was for me it was like uh, uh, when Ajit Alwar can come for a few days and take such a beautiful picture I being at Hanley in Ladakh which is very picturesque and uh, uh, with the camera technology turning up that we can also show landscape along with the starry skies which is like my profession so I thought uh, this is a very good combination of hobby I can and uh, uh, taking photography was uh, always of my interest but uh, uh, seeing Ajay Talwar's picture and then he also helped me in getting my first DSLR because back then Lee was also more remote than now so that actually helped me and inspired me and uh, to take this uh, hobby and uh, yeah I'm very much happy that uh, it flew from there and uh, I never hoped that uh, I never expected anything from my hobby uh, other than just my own uh, personal satisfaction of uh, uh, spending time so that I don't get bored at uh, my workplace. So um, I never expected anything like that, but this is good and uh, I'm actually very much thankful for everybody that uh, people are getting uh, inspired by the pictures that uh, I try to showcase. So when when the workplace that you said the workplace when workplace is uh, actually the whole cosmic stretch i yes. don't think so anybody can get uh, bored and uh, it is so mesmerizing we have uh, walked down through your photog uh, photographs and it was so so serene so beautiful that actually we we got to see the whole thing the beauty that yes. it beholds so uh, when you turned to astrophotography uh, what was your uh, actual aim to establish to it were you like finding an escape or were you just fascinated like all of us are uh yeah uh like it was uh ladakh uh initially in uh, prior to all these things happened the uh, uh astrophotography or even the 3d uh like uh, whenever uh, I used to describe uh, Ladakh and I used to tell people that this is a barren mountain, very beautiful barren mountain. So, like, it was, uh, people could not realize what the beauty of a barren. See, we, we have, through the uh, Hindi films, we have been uh, used to seeing uh, green mountains, green, uh, uh, beautiful trees, etc. But then uh, this was uh, something different and... Uh, uh, whenever in my college days I used to describe my own picture, then people will say, Acha nange pahadi to hai. So, oh, yeah, but uh, it, in fact, it has its own beauty, but which we did you know it was never showcased. And um, I always wanted to showcase the same and uh, to people that uh, see Ladakh is very, very beautiful. And if you see through my eyes and hence, uh, 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 after this event with uh, a meeting Ajit Alwar, uh, when I realized that I can show both my landscape and uh, the starry skies, uh, which we combinedly call as nightscapes. So I, I thought uh, this is the best opportunity and uh, nobody would have experienced such a beautiful thing. And uh, Ladakh, particularly Hanley itself, is like the uh, best studio in the world. Uh, 
uh, for that type that type of photography so uh, uh, i was very lucky to be employed there and uh, to spend my 23 years at hanley and uh, also um, enjoying my hobbies too having been in this field for 23 years now we asked the astrophotographer about his special experiences or anecdotes close to his heart along with this we also asked what lenses led to capturing the best of the universe for him initially uh, when i just started it it was like uh, with the basic kit lens because uh, 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 we cannot uh, afford uh, the costly lens uh, at a time so initially it started off very well and uh, I, it was totally different but then uh, there was a phase that uh, there was no improvement uh, so then slowly i realized uh, that i have will have to uh, uh, get on with a better lens for my camera and so slowly i started uh, getting uh, prime lens which are like uh, not telephoto or which which has got only fixed lens so 35 mm was the first lens and 24 mm was my second lens so i started investing in that and uh, with the uh, better with good result then i saw i thought that uh, this was very much uh, good for my hobby and also to showcase this place so that event and also uh i had many pictures uh, that were like uh, quite turning point or encouraging for me particularly uh, the one i uh, enjoyed most presenting was the comet new wise over my village pitok in fact what happened uh, uh, it was it happened on, uh, on my birthday i took my kids along and uh, both the kids actually being uh, even july ladakh is still cold when it is dark so they were not happy they could not see because of the slight light pollution uh, but then uh, the camera could capture it very well and uh, they were not happy with what happened and uh, then uh, we came back around 9 9:30 and then we had dinner and then next day i had to go to hanley uh, where i captured a telephoto picture of uh, the comet new wise over the observatory both this uh, uh, both this uh, uh, pictures they had very good impact uh, uh because there are they were of two different class one showing the telephoto or the length of the comet over the observatory and the second at my own home uh with the monastery in place so uh after i posted the first picture i posted and i got good, very good reviews and the second picture when i posted and uh, then we went for a picnic for two three days i, I was totally out of network and suddenly uh when i came back and uh, i so there was a lot of emails a lot of uh, in fact comments and uh, on twitter and everywhere that well, this is such a fantastic place and and the comet new was like was like uh, even if it was not there then still the nightscape of ladakh is still beautiful uh, but then the comet new is complemented the same very well A century ago anyone could see the milky way in the night sky nowadays if you live in a city try to look at the sky you will likely not see any resemblance to a constellation light pollution is something that we are not discussing till now it is the reason behind obscuring the visibility of the sky let's hear from mr anchuk about his views on light pollution and how to preserve the beautiful night skies for our future generation yeah in fact uh, this term conservation and preservation everybody seems to st- uh, stop when when the sun goes down so basically uh, people don't realize that after the sun goes down there is another kind of uh, pollution that we have to preserve this is the light pollution so we can we cannot see the uh, starry starry skies or the beautiful night skies in fact uh, everybody must be remembering when they were very uh, particularly of my age or older people when they were uh, old, uh, young then they used to sleep out in the open and uh, used to enjoy the night skies but they cannot do now because of various like especially light pollution even the, uh, uh, the atmospheric pollution also contributing that we cannot now sleep but obviously uh, so coming to that uh, now we, in fact i can just say like 80 or 90% of the uh, people living in uh, uh, india our own country uh, they cannot see milky way from where they are in fact now we we, we are left with only few places uh, like ladakh himachal pradesh spiti etc or the himalayas where we can uh, actually see the uh, milky way so in fact we should be preserving and then uh, 
like what we are propagating is the dark sky reserve dark sky century kind of thing where actually it can be created in any parts of india uh, and then we will have a very uh, 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 what you call sanction or uh, place where we, we actually it, it, sh- it will be deprived of um, it, there won't be any light pollution and people can enjoy the uh, night sky from there so preservation of uh, li- light pollution so light pollution is very important in our life so the, and it will benefit economically to the locals people wherever they are and, and it will benefit to the students they will uh, enrich their knowledge in the uh, in astronomy and also uh, we can do a lot of science from it in 2017 7 million people traveled across the us to witness the total solar eclipse astro tourism is coming up as a big travel trend in india and on that line mr nangchuk shares his thoughts let's hear him uh, basically astro tourism is the newest um, or you can say the most uh, newest form of uh, travel uh, tourism and it is happening all over the world in fact uh, 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 even in us now there are like more than 100 to 200 dark sky park centuries so uh, and uh, there are numerous uh, advantage of this type of tourism uh, particularly in places like ladakh where during daytime you can see scenic places like the pangong lake the nubra valley uh, the pass through the khardongla pass and uh, what do you do in evening evening time so you can just uh, sit back relax and see the starry skies and enjoy it and even uh, enrich the knowledge of your kids and uh, make them understand what is there and uh, uh, enjoy the whole scene so this type of tourism in fact is uh, the best thing that 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 is happening to ladakh also and uh, i can see uh, particularly uh, last two years were covid but this year lot of people are coming ladakh specially to see the skies ladakh skies yeah. the sky has no limit mr dorji angchuk certainly has inspired the whole community of star gazers to pursue their passion for capturing mesmerizing nightscapes If you are also the one who wonders what is beyond then keep following him and more such astrophotographers till then that is all for today's segment thank you for watching